Hey guys, James with TFB TV. Welcome to our continuing coverage of TFB TV GunFest 2021. We're bringing you new products for 2021 from your favorite manufacturers, including Trigicon. My boys from Trigicon came down to visit. They've got a new iron sight product for us. I'm here with Ryan from Trigicon. Ryan, go ahead, give us a... a Brian. I thought it was Ryan. It's Ryan. It's Ryan. Oh, it's the same. You said Brian and then Ryan. No, you're f***ing drunk. And I was... <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> Hey guys, James Reeves with TFB TV. You're watching our continuing coverage of TFB TV GunFest 2021. We're bringing you new products from your favorite manufacturers. I know I say this a lot during our GunFest coverage, but one of my favorite manufacturers, the boys from Trigicon are here, including Ryan. Ryan, introduce yourself to the audience. Hi, thanks for having me. My name is Ryan Sikorsky. I'm a product manager for our iron sight line at Trigicon as well as uh, mounts and accessories. Emphasis on iron sights because that's what you guys have today. Uh, of course, Trigicon, you guys kind of built your brand on tritium night sights. Absolutely. So you've got a new evolution of that product line and I think it's very fitting that uh, you brought it to GunFest for 2021. What do we have? Absolutely. So this is our new Trigicon DI night sight. So you're absolutely correct. The company was founded. One of the first products that we came out with was the original Bright and Tough Night Sights. We were one of the first companies to start putting tritium in night sight or in iron sight products. And now, uh, a little over 40 or about 40 years later, uh, we've have the next evolution of iron sights, which is our DI night sights. And what this is going to be is a dual illuminated tritium fiber front sight uh, with a tritium only rear sight. And we've packed some really cool features into a very small package here. And starting with the brightness. So we try to, everything we do, we try and make it as bright as possible to make it as usable in any lighting conditions as an end user would find themselves in. So we have our typical standard tritium vial in the back half of this front sight. And then we have a, uh, a, a fiber piece in the front that's actually finished with the same polishing technique that we use on our ACOG fibers that we've been oh, making cool. for many, many years now that everybody knows from oh, the yeah, military sure. and yeah. everywhere else. So that's one cool feature of this product. The other cool feature of this that we really th think differentiates this product from anything else that's out on the market is that this fiber is actually user replaceable. Oh, okay. So the, the way that this is designed is that the front outline is actually not painted it's a retainer mm -hmm. so it's a threaded retainer that if something does happen to the fiber an end user can simply take the tools that we provide them quickly unscrew that front retainer pop out any lost or damaged fibers anything that's left in there pop a new fiber in and tighten that back down and start and they're right back up and running Ryan, walk me through that real quick. Am I like literally, am I taking like a Leatherman and, and tweaking this thing? I'm just trying to visualize the threads. I'm, I'm like turning this, how does this work? So this interface is really hard to see in there, but there's actually a T10 Torx interface in that front I retainer. I don't believe you. Oh yep. yeah, there it is, there it is. Absolutely, yeah. so we actually provide an L key with all the sets of sights that fits right in there. Mm -hmm. And you just, un you just loosen that right up. It comes right out, it takes about five minutes to pop that retainer out the fiber out and put a new piece in. See, that makes sense. It's funny, I was like trying to visualize as you're describing it and you really have to kind of like it's, turn it. It's I mean, very, it very is small. Yeah, yeah, it's small and it's like machine, neatly machined in there. You Absolutely. Know it existed. Talk to me about the rear sights. You guys went with like a U-notch, which is kind of cool. We did. So this is actually going to be, for people that are familiar with our HD and HDXR lines, this is going to be the exact same rear as, as we use in our HD and HDXR line. So it's going to be U-notch, it's going to have a serrated rear two tritium vials to give you a three dot sight picture. Mm -hmm. And then it's also gonna have that steeply hooked front edge. So in emergency situations, it'll assist with one handed slide manipulations. Gotcha, that's very cool. Yeah, and that's that's what I was gonna say. It's like, you know, a lot of people um, are, are going to wonder about this this overhang here, like with, with the rear sight. I mean, go into a little more detail. Why, why would we do that? So it's gonna be, it's really to try and eliminate as much as possible any reflections or distracting features from that rear sight. So it's set further back a little bit. So it lengthens the, uh, the sight radius mm -hmm. from, cause we know that the front sight is getting a little bit longer than a typical front sight. Right. Uh, and then also uh, it gives us a little more uh, real estate to try and eliminate any of those reflective light or any of the reflective light you might have in bright shooting situations. It's funny because I, I didn't even think about it because yeah, really your front sight is, is kind of right here, you yeah. know, with, with the fiber optics because of the vials. Exactly. So yeah, move the rear sight back a little bit. Makes total sense. 
How much are these going to cost as a set? So full retail on the sets for all nine uh, nine SKUs that we're coming out with is going to be $150 full retail. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll have multiple, we'll have a full range of accessories that are, include retainers and fiber, uh, fiber pieces that will range anywhere from about $15 all the way up to $50, depending on the combination of fibers and retainers. I see. And obviously you're going to have, I'm going to see red, I'm going to see yellow, I'm going to see orange, right? Right. Exactly. So we're actually uh, we're going to have um, four different colors of fiber. We'll have green, amber, orange, and red available at the time of launch. And then we'll also have uh, different colored retainers as well. So you see you know, that comes the black in this mm -hmm. site that comes standard. Mm -hmm. We'll also have uh, a white option, a yellow option, and an orange and option. And you're talking well. about the little thing where you're that you yeah. unscrew. You unscrew. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's brilliant. You can get a little bit more cr uh, contrast there. Exactly. You so drop a, you can really just buy one set of sights and set the sights up. You don't have to buy multiple sets of sights to try out different combinations of fibers and retainers. You can just buy accessories and put a, if you want to put a red fiber with a white front outline, now you can very easily mix and match to set it up exactly the way that you want it. When are these going to come out? So these will start, uh, we're going to announce these publicly, they'll launch on January 18th, and then we're going to start shipping them on Jan or on February 1st. Okay. All right. So they're well on the way then. Yeah. These are have been well in production uh, since the beginning of December. We're building up a, a lot of inventory. So as soon as we announce them uh, and the, the world knows about them and, and we start talking about them publicly, they're going to be on, on shelves and ready to ship. Like it or not, many people consider you guys to be the top dog in terms of iron sights and of course tritium iron sights. So this is an exciting development. I think that there are going to be a lot of people out there who are particularly thrilled to be able to get this and at a price point that kind of matches what you guys are, are usually selling your sights for. If I want to buy just the front sight by itself, theoretically, can I do that? Absolutely. Um, we'll, we'll have the front sights set up um, in our system available at the same time that the sets launch. We have those available, they're packed out as well. Uh, so if people have HDs or HDXRs and want to buy just the front sights and update their set to try this new option, that's something that they actually absolutely can do. And what's the price difference going to be there? Like if I just, if I didn't want the rear sight? If you didn't want the rear sight, the front sight is going to be $99. Okay. All right. I mean, just bring your extra 50 bucks and just get the whole exactly. son of a bitch, right? Exactly. Yeah. And last question, if I, uh, I guess if I take this slide up, I, I flip it over, I'm probably going to see like typically what I see with Trijicon, especially like with this, uh, with Glock. And that is, there's there's going to be like a little nut under there or something. And it's threaded. Yep. Is that how we're going to do this? Yep. So for all Glock sites, that's how the front sights attach, and then all the other manufacturers, Sig Springfield, um, Sig Springfield, uh, and Smith and Wesson will also have sites for those. Will all be dovetailed. Right? Okay. So and then that's the complete list of at, at least for now who you're for going now. to be making it for. So it's for going it. to be like. Glock, M and P, the XD line, and what uh, the 320. Or yeah, so Sig sights are set up in the note. We'll have a number six, number eight for people that are familiar with the Sig's kind of sight nomenclature. Yeah, sure. mm -hmm. um, and we'll also we'll have a number six, number eight combination, and a number eight, number eight combination. So it's typically for 320s, 365, any of their most popular pistols. We'll have sights available for them. Can I do this myself? If I buy this set, can I install it myself? And, and be honest with me. I mean, if I tell you I'm. A, actually really bad in terms of i mean like sure look, yeah i mean changing out an air filter is difficult for me hey, in my same, air conditioner same no you problem know, so it's like yeah i mean re be realistic with me here. so totally understand it's a great question I, I would we always recommend professional installation going to your trusted local retailer and having them install the sites and just just to make sure that nothing goes wrong because there's always a risk especially with tritium sites that something could happen during the installation process to the lamps and we don't want anybody to dam unintentionally damage their lamps and potentially put themselves in a position with defective sites. Mm -hmm. So um, most of most people that sell our sites are very familiar, familiar with the process of installing sites cor the correct way mm -hmm. so that they don't break files. Uh, so we typically recommend taking them to your local retailer and having them installed uh, and instead of trying to do it yourself. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, Ryan, this is exciting stuff. I really appreciate you guys coming, bringing this down, showing it to everybody on TFB TV. Guys that are out there watching, bear in mind, we've got a lot of GunFest content coming on TFB TV, the main channel, and we, of course, have TFB TV Showtime, which is our side channel. All show coverage is going to be on TFB TV Showtime as well as the TFB TV main channel. So make sure you're checking both so you can see everything. Thanks for watching. We're going to bring you more soon. <music>